Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to correctly set up a chameleon cage. First of all, remember you have to set up the cage before you bring your chameleons home. The first thing you will need is a screen cage. Uh, some people buy glass cages like aquariums and things like that, but they doesn't work as well because they um, have a lot of humidity when you drop water or things like that and it can cause bacteria for your chameleon so it's better to use a screen cage okay second you will need a container for your drip or water system this is because you don't want to mess in all the room where you have your chameleon so buy a container that fits in your cage and just put it down third you will need wooden sticks Remember that chameleons in the wild live in trees, so they need to cling a lot. So you will need a lot of wooden sticks that goes right to the top so he can level his temperature going up and down. Fourth, you will need... Sorry, <laughs> my bird's just talking. <laughs> Fourth, you will need plants. He needs hiding plants because they are really stressful animals so they need hiding places you can put a lot of leaf plants or plastic plants whatever just keep bothering <laughs> you will need either uh, fake plants or leaf plants remember that they need to hide a lot so you can like you have your uh, wooden sticks like this and going up so you can roll it around everything and that could help you too with your water system so they when they come down uh, it can go leaf to leaf and they don't do a mess a lot so uh, for the last one uh, you will need lights remember that you are recreating uh the environment of a chameleon so you will need to provide him 12 hours of sun and 12 hours of night so with that being said uh some people sell uh lights for night i don't recommend it because they disturb your chameleons at night so basically you just need a heater lamp and a UVB that helps him through the day and at night just shut all the lights off and he will be totally fine. He still needs a thermostat and a digital thermometer. I don't recommend to use the regular ones that are circular because they are not as accurate as the digital ones. So if you can get one, it will be better because you will need to be sure the temperature that uh, is in your cage. Because right now I have a bell chameleon and his temperature is like 72 degrees Fahrenheit to 82 degrees. So I know uh, that I have my house in 75 so if I don't have the heating lamp, it will be still great for him because my house is not too cold and not too hot so it's perfect for him but i don't know other people where they live if it's too hot or too cold so that's why you need to be sure uh what's the um, temperature in your chameleon skin well i will show you some pictures like what's the process and what i made for mine and how we fix my brother's cage because when he bought his chameleon his name is Kami. Um, we were not to like um, get into that cage and things like that we just bought what they sell us in Petco so we just buy a Repti Breeze and some coconut um, thing for the bottom and we just bought like uh, two or three uh, sticks and just like one plant and like two days ago, we make our research and we find that we need a lot of wooden sticks and a lot of hiding places. So we'll fix it and I will show you two pictures of how we'll fix it. 
I hope this video was great for you and for your learning and hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Say bye everyone. Bye. <laughs> bye.